Hi everyone, welcome back to my commerce class. Today we are going to understand the preparation of trading and profit and loss account. Okay, the trading account and profit and loss account prepared at the end of a particular period of time. So here we are preparing for the year ending 31st March 2021. So we have various ledger account balances like this. Stock sales, purchase, wages and other expenses. Various ledger account balances are given. Based on that, uh, we have to follow this format for the preparation of trading and profit loss account. Okay, it's a continuation. First, we are going to prepare a trading account and then we'll make a continuation of the profit and loss account. The trading account gives the result of gross profit or gross loss. Okay, and then profit and loss account gives the result of net profit or net loss. Okay. Uh, if the debit side of the trading account is more than the credit side, the result will be gross loss. And if the credit side is more than the debit side, the result is gross profit. Okay. Likewise, even in profit and loss account also, if the debit side is more than the credit side, it is gross net loss. We'll write on the credit side, net loss. Okay, here it is not there. And if the credit side is more than the debit side, we'll call it as a net profit. It will be recorded on the debit side. Okay. So, let's make a classification of this one. Stock we have. This is on 1st April 2020. And we are preparing for 21. So, this is opening stock. Okay. And it comes on the debit side of the trading account sales credit side of the trading account sales returns subtracted from sales trading account purchases trading account purchase returns subtracted from sales so per, sorry purchases subtracted from purchases trading account carriage inwards trading account carriage outwards profit and loss account salaries profit and loss account expenses wages directly connected to manufacturing so trading account interest paid revenue so payable account stationery payable account discount allowed expenditure payable account commission received revenue income payable account credit side insurance premium payable account debit side trade expenses payable account uh, this stock on 31st March 2021. So, it's a closing stock. It comes under the trading account. Okay. So, we have done <coughs> the classification of, of various ledger balances. Based on that, we have to prepare this trading and profit loss account. Let us transfer all the ledger balances in this given format. Okay. So, first what we it is given opening stock is given uh, 60,000 uh, that we have taken here look at here to opening stock 60,000 so this entry is done okay and then what we have sales sales to be recorded in the credit side of the trading account sales okay so look at your sales minus returns outer column 2 lakh 90 thousand clear and then we have purchases and purchase returns okay so look at your debit side purchases and then purchase returns so outer column two lakh thirty three thousand okay and then uh, carriage inwards given four thousand recorded on the debit side two carriage inwards four thousand okay and then wages is there look at your wages given and uh, that is to be 10,000 that is recorded in the debit side to wages 10,000 okay so closing stock at the end given 75,000 that's also taken into consideration now let us see which side is greater okay here we have 290,000 and 75,000 here the total 60,000, 2,33,000, 40,000 and 10,000. So when you compare, we can find the credit side is greater. The total is 3,65,000. Okay. 
so here you have to make this 365000 both side the greater value to be return and you will find a difference of 58000 this 58000 becomes gross profit because your income is more so the difference will be treated as profit okay and then the continuation your gross profit carry down so this is the balance amount you have to uh, carry down have to write same balance to be recorded here 58000 okay by gross profit brought down okay uh, and then all other uh, expenses which are to be recorded in the penal account to be considered like carriage outwards salaries interest paid stationery discount allowed all the expenses are recorded here okay, salaries carriage outwards interest paid stationery discount allowed okay and insurance premium trade expenses all expenses are recorded here and we have um, inch, uh, like a uh, discount which one commission received thousand this is an income received okay so therefore the income is recorded on the credit side okay commission received thousand rupees so, now like a trading account here also we have to make a balance okay so here 58000 plus 1000 it becomes 59000 you so um, when you come make a comparison the balance of debit side is lesser so we'll consider the credit side balance on both the side 59000 59000 so when you make a balance of this you'll get a difference of 19000 the difference so this is 19000 is the difference so we call it as balance amount okay so this balance will be treated as net profit net profit transferred to transfer to capital account this is to be transferred to capital account okay so likewise uh, all expenses recorded on the debit side incomes are recorded on the credit side and the result you get so as i said if the credit side exceeds the debit side it is profit and if the debit side exceeds the credit side it is loss okay so like this you will get a result of your trading and profit and loss account and later this balance will be transferred to balance sheet that we'll study in the coming video okay so uh, share the information to your friends so that uh, everyone will understand the preparation of trading and profit and loss account uh, like share and subscribe i'll see you in the next video